Hello YouTube, I am here again to talk about more modules in VCV Rack, and today I wanted to have a look at the PROC module collection, which is a hardware emulation collection, um, and it's all centered around drum synthesis and drum percussion, that kind of thing. Um, these are all the modules. Uh, Basically up the top here, we've got um, a filter or a dual filter, two envelopes, uh, a mixer, a sample and hold. That's effectively what it is. Um, this one I'll explain later. And then this one is like distortion, bit crushing and sample rate reduction. And then we have like a dual oscillator um, with three voices each. And down here we've got our drum modules, bass drum, snare drum, clap, clonk, I think this one is called, and then a hi-hat. And then these are also drum synth modules. Um, you have a little bit more control over these. These are a little bit more traditional, I suppose, compared to these ones. Um, but these are the modules. I've got some examples set up, so let's have a look at them. All right, so here I have a little patch. It's a, uh, it's basically a drum machine. Um, I've got each of the proc modules, all five of them, and I'm sequencing all of them via this eight by 16 gate sequencer from Count Modular. Um, and let's have a zoom in. Actually, let's just listen to what it sounds like first. So it's pretty dry, a little bit uninteresting. Um, but I have some things that will uh, change that, make it more interesting. But firstly, let's mute some of these other voices. This is just the kick drum we have at the moment. I do have a little bit of sample rate reduction on that, so let's bring that off. Um, so this little module here is one that I said I would talk about later. Um, this is a attachment that you put next to to the right of the main drum modules and it basically just expands the features so you get a, de a dedicated decay knob with modulation um, and you got a dedicated tuning knob which you know you would expect from a drum synth um, and then down here this particular one is interesting because on the proc modules, you may have noticed you've got this X and Y, and you've got these sort of four different types of drum synthesis. So if I move the X, goes over to this square. If I move the Y, it goes up. Likewise, uh, so you can sort of, and you can modulate these with the X and Y inputs, which I do have inputs going, which we will explore a bit in a sec, but, this uh, knob here, this Q knob, quad select, it will just select different uh, parts of the drum. So that's Andy. This is more of like a crossfader, although you may have noticed that the quad select does sound kind of different to when I'm actually selected on them. So I think that these, and I probably should have checked this beforehand, but I think that these actually just select different algorithms. And then these still crossfade between different variants of that. But I think you can hear it, it sounds pretty great. Um, and then for each of these voices I have like a distortion, a bit crusher, and a sample rate reduction. And uh, yeah. So let's uh, just mess with this for a bit.
and uh, obviously all of that I think sounds pretty fucking amazing. I really love these modules. They are easily my favorite drum modules uh, in VCV Rack, or at least out of the ones that I've used. I've got this entire signal going into a mixer here, this very small um, proc mixer. It's just a five channel mixer. Um, and that goes into another distortion unit, which kind of uh, clips the signal as well, like it limits it so it never gets too crazy. You can see up here the volume is not overly dramatic. Um, and I've got that going into a filter, and this filter is going into the lower filter. So I've got a low pass and a high pass in series. Um, let's just bring up this resonance and listen to this filter. And as I said, I've got a high pass down here, so let's listen to that. say pretty amazing sounds. Um, I'm just going to bring these resonances down because we're getting a lot of booming. Let's just bring the distortion down a bit. Uh, bring this back up. Uh, so before I bring that back up, I just want to cover what I'm doing down here. So with each of the trigs um, for their respective drum voice, I've got them going into this sample and hold. Um, and that's going out into this little VCA from Nisti, and then I have a uh, Lorenz function generator um, from Wicked, which is with a Q. Um, really love these modules. And if I bring up, let's just uh, mute all these other ones and we'll just do it on the kick. And they're going into the X and Y. So. This is basically like kind of like a random generator and then they've got a sample and hold. So they're kind of doing similar things, but the sample and hold is triggering each time or it's sampling every single time there's a drum hit. So with each hit, it's doing something slightly different. So let's just bring this up. First, I'll bring the filter back up. And you can see on the VCA, that it's sort of shifting with each hit. Maybe I'll do bipolar. Yeah, that's a bit, a bit better. And then if we bring in the Lorenz function. So you can get a lot of variation by just modulating these inputs. Of course, I could modulate something like the decay. Which is also a pretty cool effect. So let's try that with uh, these other ones as well. Let's just adjust some of these settings first. And let's bring them in one by one. God, I love that snare. And why don't I do the decay on this one as well?
Funk. It's uh, very unique. Okay, that's uh, very brutal. Um, I love this. I just absolutely love the proc modules, and I'm sure you can hear why I love it so much. Um, I do have another example over here. Uh, this is much sort of basic, more basic setup, but let's uh, unmute this and have a listen. Got a bit of reverb going on this one. So I've got the sample and holds on these two voices. Uh, so what you got here is effectively, they're kind of like, this is a single voice and this is a dual voice, but they're kind of the same. This one does have a few extra controls. Um, I haven't explored these modules as much, but they're kind of basic drum synthesis modules. You've got your pitch envelope with your attack decay and you've got your amp envelope. That's kind of it. Certainly with these, this module, with these two voices, you've got that and you've got your pitch uh, knob at the top. Um, but let's bring some distortion in so you can hear some of these harmonics. So yeah, like I, I just really love the way these modules sound. They're just so rich. I've never heard the hardware, but if it sounds, if, I mean, of course it'll sound like this, but like if it sounds anything like this, it'll be amazing. I'm not actually sure if these modules are available in hardware. It might just be these ones here, but don't quote me on that. I'm not sure. Um, it's not really much to talk about with these two. It, Pretty self-explanatory, I think. But yeah, you can mix between the two voices, the two oscillators on this one. Which is fun. Um, Alright. I might just leave it there with this one. Let's mute it. And lastly, I just wanted to talk about this other um, module, which is basically two square wave oscillators. Um, and each oscillator has like three voices effectively, which you can sort of tune against each other, but it's not as simple as just two square waves or three square waves being tuned against each other. It's like they're doing some kind of cross modulation with them. Um, but I also have this uh, envelope and this other one, which is pretty unique, which is like a clap envelope. So you can have like, it's kind of like a burst generator, but it's not quite a burst generator. Um, and both of these uh, modules have their own VCA inbuilt, which I think is really handy. Um, and likewise, the dual filter, actually that one doesn't have a VCA, <laughs> ignore me. Um, but I really like that these envelopes have a VCA as part of it. I know that they're not the only ones that do. It's just nice when they do, because sometimes you need that. You don't want to have another module. So, <clears throat> So let's um, have a listen to this. I've got these two phrase sequences going because I've tuned these oscillators. They're not, it's not really a drum sound. It's more like a 303 kind of sound. 
this module or sorry, this voice is doing kind of like a 303 and then this one is doing something very different, which we will hear in a second. But let's listen to the 303 style voice. And I've detuned the voice a bit. So the center voice is just neutral. And then this is kind of like at about a fifth, roughly. Um, and then this one's like a, sort of an octave down. I'm using these octave modules as well to just shift this whole voice down a bit. Uh, because I, I created the uh, sequence up here and I didn't want to have to readjust it all. So anyway, uh, I've got it going into this filter. Got the modulation from this envelope going into this VCA, so I can attenuate that. And um, I've got a bit of distortion going on this. And we can rate redu rate reduce the rate, <laughs> the sample rate. And I've got, as you can hear, a bit of uh, reverb and delay up on my mixer up here, so that's handy. Um, but let's bring in this other voice so we can hear how they interplay with each other. So you can hear what this clap envelope is doing. And it's, like I said, it's a bit like a burst generator. I'm modulating the uh, roll decay. And at the moment I've got a roll count of around seven. I can modulate that, of course, as well, if I bring that down. It's just a quick, quick. But then bring it all the way up. And it sort of rings out. We've got a decay down here. Which is interesting, because once the rolls end, it decays after that, so you get kind of this interesting, like, release. So yeah. This one's got a bandpass filter. Because these filters, I probably didn't mention, but they are state variable. Let's bring up the distortion again. And, uh, let's just unmute everything. Just bring that down a bit. Um, so I didn't, I didn't necessarily create all of these little patches to work together. So it's a bit chaotic. Um, but I think that these three little examples give you an idea of how powerful these modules are. Um, I really love them. I still use them all the time, despite having have them for a while. They are paid modules, which. I don't know, some people feel weirdly about that. I've got no beef with it at all, especially considering how fucking good they sound. Um, but I kind of just wanted to leave it there today. Uh, don't really want to talk about much else other than these proc modules. And um, I hope you got something out of it. Please let me know what you think. Uh, like and subscribe and do all of that stupid fun stuff. And I'll see you next time.